I am Crazy Harry, and this is the update. So let me explain what the update is. Once again, I'm Crazy Harry, artist, producer, and owner of Out My Mind, On My Grind. And we're just a bunch of artists, producers, and graphic artists trying to make our way. So let's get into it. Um, I haven't made an update video in a little while. Um, I've just, I've been busy with life shit. Um, I, but I have been working on music. Uh, matter of fact, since the last video, I have three new songs out. Um, one of them being No Narcan, Hell's Hotline, and Tales from the Bando. Uh, no Narcan is a song about an overdose death. And uh, it's it's pretty much just to bring more awareness to the situation, and for people who haven't been in that situation to know what it's like for someone to find someone in that position. Um, so yeah, and Hell's Hotline is it, it's a song about the psych board. Um, you know, something I have much experience in, and, uh, you know, that, that one was more me just having fun than, like, an awareness thing, but, uh, yeah, and Tales from the Bando is, is another, sort, sort of, uh, another, uh, awareness thing, it's, uh, you know, shit, shit that goes down, in, in these type of places, and, and if you don't know, uh, a bando is an abandoned building or house that people are, are trapping and using. Um, and the story ends with with the girl that was just trying to get a fix ends up, you know, ends up dying in that situation. Um, you know, and that that I feel like that's that song was more. Um, less of an awareness thing and more of just uh, a storyline of, of something that, uh, you know, shit that happens on a daily. Um, so yeah, and all, all three of those songs are on all platforms, um, you know, so, so check it out, um, you know, the more support the better, I, I appreciate any type of, any type of love I get. Um, but to be moving on, all right, all right. So, I in my last video, I'm pretty sure I talked about I'm working on an album that has to do with mental health and substance abuse, and those three songs are gonna be on it. And uh, I finally figured out a name. It's gonna be called A Dangerous Place. Um, because I feel like that that name sums everything up and uh, I have the album artwork out for it uh, if you want OMMG has an Instagram page and it's uh, you know what I'll, I'll just leave the leave it in the um, in the description so you guys can, can go uh, go follow that you know, and I, I put all the, the artwork out before the song actually drops, just so you can get like a little taste of uh, a little taste of what's going on. And um, speaking of, I just put out a uh, you know some artwork for it's it's called uh, Crystal Balls and Fire. Um, and you know this is something that's that's not so known about me, but uh, you know I. Uh, I, I practice a different type of different type of religion of mine. You know, I, I, I dabble in Wicca and I have for a while. I, I even feel weird saying it now because um, it's not really something I, I talk about. But um, I'd say for the better part of like nine or so years, I have been on and off. But now that like I'm sober and more clear headed, um, I've been diving into it more, reading more books about it, um, of course practicing more and, uh, you know, just, just doing my thing. Uh, 
Yeah, I made one video about it recently, on, and I have that on, on, on TikTok. Um, you know, and that was just just showing my altar and, and, and things of that nature. Um, you know, other than that video, this is the only time I've, I've actually talked about it. Um, but yeah, that's, that's something I do. Um, you know, I just, I feel like the more I, cause, all right, originally I, I was Christian, you know, was brought up Christian, all that, but like the more I dug into it, the less it made sense. Um, if that makes sense, um, and I'm, I, I might get some bullshit for this, but you know what? Not that many people watch these fucking videos, anyways. So uh, you know, if, if you don't like it, fuck it. You know. Um, but yeah, um, and you know, like my my mother was into that type of stuff. You know, she was still like very Christian, like you know, prayed, like you know. All that, um, but she also had a had a belief in this stuff. And my grandma, who is also, you know, well, she hasn't been going to church recently because of COVID. But you know, she every every Sunday she's there. But uh, you know, she messes around with the crystals, um, which is something I'm, I'm pretty sure that the church, you know, doesn't even believe is real like uh i remember when i when i was first starting to fuck around i didn't really know much about anything um so i had brought one of my crystals to a priest to, to um to bless and he kind of just laughed at me and uh you know told me to get out of get it out of his face so uh, obviously those two worlds do not mix very well um but let me, let me shut up about all that. Um, you know, recently the, the team has not been in contact as much. Um, usually we'd be uh, doing video meetings uh, like once a week, whatever. But, you know, life shit comes up. And, uh, you know, I'm not going to knock it for that. Uh, but as far as I know, um, guy from Chicago, Dread Rock, he's, he's actually doing really well with, with music stuff, um, I'll, I'll leave the link to his Facebook in the, in the description, I don't know why I keep pointing that way when I say description, but whatever, um, and Trill, I, I just talked to him yesterday, you know, he's, he's been on his work shit, so, uh, you know, he's been a little less with the music, um, Devious from Buffalo, I actually stopped fucking with, uh, you know, and I'm not really going to name my reasons for that, uh, you know, I feel like that's more of a personal thing, but uh, I just wanted to let it be known that I, I, don't, I don't fuck with him, um, but Devious from Huntington, from, from my hometown, uh, you know, as far as I know, he's he's working, doing the music shit. Um, I sent an instrumental to him not that long ago. And uh, as soon as I'm allowed to have people back here, I, I'm going to have him and, and, and a few other people come record. And, um, oh, oh, I'm sure, as you can see, since the last time I made a video, um, I've really upgraded this fucking place. Um, I got some new screens and shit, uh, well, new screen, and, uh, I got a, I got a webcam, um, because I made a, a Twitch account, and I'm starting to go live on there, and I'm, I'm doing, uh, live studio sessions, uh, I'm still really new with it, um, my, my first live was, uh, like, like Monday or Tuesday, some shit like that. But I will leave that link in the description uh, so y'all can go check it out. I'm actually gonna be going live later on today, and uh, you know, I'm gonna do the damn thing. Um, I'm gonna be fucking around with. I have 
a sample from uh, you know Super Mario, like the like the original N Nintendo joint, and I'm I'm gonna fuck with that a little bit and uh, see what I can do. Um, so yeah, please follow me uh, or see the follow or subscribe, but whatever, do that, and uh, you know I'll be on there. I don't really have... Oh, yes. So, alright. Other than music, I I like to paint and uh, do art in general. And I'm starting to to incorporate that into the website. Um, I'm going to be working on that more this weekend. Uh, you know, because I have uh, an Etsy, um, you know, shop. And, uh, you know... But, uh, oh, so, you know what, I'll add the Etsy joint in, uh, in the description also. There's gonna be a lot of shit in there. So just, uh, you know, pick out what you need or just click on all of it if you could. If you have the time, that would be nice. But yeah, I'm adding art to, to the page, to the site. Um, and also I have new merch available. Um, you know, we, uh, we got hoodies now. Um, yeah, hoodies, some, some more tees. Um, I've been adding more beats onto onto the store, uh, the shop. And, uh, yeah, you know, I'm doing the damn thing. 